Okay, so in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at how to create a cubist inspired picture. And we're working from still life objects. <coughs> so I've got myself a teapot and an orange set up within a white box just to um, take out any kind of distractions that are behind. Um, I've placed the orange in the teapot because they're two quite different coloured objects so I can distinguish one from the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one drawing in a pencil and then I'm going to move the two objects to a different angle and draw a second drawing over the top of the first drawing and then I'm going to move them a third time and draw a third drawing over the top of the other two. Um, so I'm going to end up with um, three drawings overlapping each other of the same still life objects but from different viewpoints. If you find working from direct observation um, quite difficult, you can um, take three different photographs of your object. So I've actually got both things to aid me here. So I've got my iPad with my three different viewpoints already. So I've got the actual objects on my right and then I've got the photographs of the objects on my left as well. So I can see the shapes easier from a photograph. So I'm going to begin with a 2B pencil and draw the first angle, then I'm going to move the position, change to a different colour, draw it again, move the position and draw a third time. Okay, so it's important when you're um, creating your three drawings <coughs> that they overlap in an interesting way. Don't space them out too much on the page. Um, it's also important to focus really on line and geometric shapes rather than detail. Um, key feature of the cubist style was geometric shapes um, and broken lines. So figure out your composition, lay your three drawings down and at this point you want to start adding um, sort of tone and shade and deciding kind of key lines to bring forward and others to send back. So at this point um, it's really up to your own judgment which bits you shade, which bits you highlight and how you work on your drawing. 